So we're back with my Japanese convenience store must eat snacks winter wonderland edition. So after doing my recent convenience store must eat snacks, people continue to ask me, hey, do another one because we want to see what kind of snacks you have for the winter. So I'm going to share with you some snacks that have just recently been released as well as some snacks that I haven't shared in any of my other videos. I'm so excited for this one. I'm so pumped. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. But before I start, if you guys want to help support the channel, check Check out the Tokyo merch if you want to see what I'm doing on the daily. Check out my Instagram account. And if you have any questions about Japan or your Japan travels or just want to connect with people who love Japan, then I've recently created a Discord community for all of you guys to connect. Links are always in the description. All right, without further ado, let's get our kombini on. Number one, Onigiri from Lawson. Tokusei Chahan and Tonkatsu. Hey Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Would you like an onigiri? All right, so we're bringing two Flavor Flav onigiris for you today. One of them, Maiko is a fan of, and one of them, I'm a fan of. I couldn't decide, so I'm just including both of them. So I'm doing the Tokusei Katsudon. That, open it like a flower. Look at that beauty. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. So basically you have the rice plate here and just around it you have the egg and on top of it you have two little cut pieces of katsu. I prefer warming it up. You don't have to. You can eat it as is. All right, 20 seconds later. It's nice and heated up. Mm. So the egg itself, it's quite light. Probably all the flavor is coming from the pork itself while the egg is just like a nice add-on to it. It almost feels like a full complete meal in just like this little pocket size ball. All right now it's Maiko's turn to show you her pick. I think mine is better though. Thank you Paolo. Now it's my turn to show you my all-time favorite. Why haven't you showed it in the other videos? I because I have many favorites. And this is my like, how to say, junky cheating. This is like your cheat day on a Yes, yes. I got chahan, it's fried rice. You can microwave this too, but I like to eat it cold. You see how shiny the rice are? Is. It is. <laughs> but this is the rice though. Uh, you can see like a teeny tiny bits of eggs, like regular chahan has. In the back, there's pork. Do you see it? Itadakimasu. Mmm! Oh uh -huh. It tastes kind of like a ramen shop's chahan. It's really like stir fried until it's really dry. Really well. It's a little bit saltier side. That's why it tastes really good when it's cold. Number two, Peyangu Yakisoba Fried Potato Gekikara Max End. And this is like the one that I've like loved the most and get like a lot of the times. Right here you can see the kanji. It says Gekikara Max. Kara means like spicy and Geki is like super duper spicy. And it says Max and end sounds like it's gonna end your life. It has that like yakisoba taste to it. And the brand itself is called Peyangu. It's a very, very popular among the youth. But anyways, this is what we're doing today. Open it up. Oh, you can smell the fire. Chippy chip, dippy dip in my mouth. Mmm. Oh, oh, that's spicy. And it has that yucky soba taste. It even has like a little taste of mayonnaise in it. It's crazy how spot on this is with the yucky soba. Mm. And the fry itself looks like a french fry. It's like a really hard, crunchy potato chip. Ah, it's so delicious. It's so delicious. You do taste yucky soba, huh? It's really good. I taste the sauce, the sauce. Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. I think you've done this in a previous okay. video. No, you didn't get it. You, I didn't get it? Yeah, say it again. Wor Worcestershire sauce. Still don't got it. Really? Let's let people decide whether you get it or not. Number three. Blueberry chocolate bar from 7-Eleven. The blueberry ice cream is now back in operation. So the ice cream part in the middle has 32% blueberry pieces and then the chocolate on the outside has 25% blueberry pieces in there. This is like blueberry personified. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. You can see inside the blueberry ice cream. Maybe there's not any blueberry chunks right now, but believe me you, there is. 
Oh, see the blueberry chunks in there? And then it has the nice chocolate shell on the outside, but it's a chocolate and blueberry mixed combination. You can like slightly taste the chocolate. The blueberry is really, really overpowering. Just a, like a blueberry explosion inside of your mouth. Oh, this is so good. I, just, I could eat 10 of these. Oh, yeah. The blueberry chunks are like crispy in there. Like, suck, suck, it gives a really great texture. I feel like I'm in like a blueberry juice or something. Number four, white cheese sauce kima curry from 7 Eleven. And to continue on with this winter wonderland of treats, we have this white cheese kima curry with minced beef and it has onsen tamago. Damn, that's a whole mother load of love. In fact, when you get it at first, on top, it's just like this white layer of like creamy, creamy cheese on top. You can't see what's actually below it. But you might not really know what it is since we're doing this video. Now you guys know. Oh, you can smell the kima curry, the cheese. Look at that first bite I'm gonna take. Mmm. Yeah, you can definitely taste the curry in there like it has a, like the irregular curry spice flavor but the onsen tamago itself gives it a little kind of gooey texture yeah the cheese is just like an added touch i love the texture of this whole thing the pork and the beef is really kind of masked by the cheese itself it's cold right now but i'm hot i feel like it does have like a tinge of spiciness to it so maybe those people that are really really sensitive probably should be careful but it's not like super, super spicy, but it has that kind of like curry spiciness to it. Oh, it's really creamy. I thought like it's more like curry. Cheese sauce. Mmm. It's like yasashi cheese sauce, but behind it, you, I can taste the spiciness, the right balance. I didn't know about this. Maybe I want to get it next time. Seven's coming strong these days with their with their meal plans. Yeah, I actually like 7 Eleven's like this meal, like how to say, cup thing. Yeah. They do a really good job. Number five, Men Taiko Friends from Family Mart. Next up to bat is are you not supposed to play with your food or what? To be honest with you, like a mentaiko bread is OG like bakery good that I like when I first came to Japan, I always, always got it. And you would think that this is kind of like a hard baguette, but it's actually like very, very soft. You can see here you have the mentaiko and then like flakes of like parsley on the top. This is like a really, really strong mentaiko flavor. It's just like caked on the top. But the thing is with this, like the bread might actually be um, a little chewy. And so what I do is I actually toast this bread to give it like a nice crunchy thing. So let me just toast this right now. All right, so this is what it looks like toasted. It doesn't look that much different because I didn't actually like burn it or anything. But if you have a bite, mmm. Oh, it's like 10 times better. Once you toast it, what you'll find is that it adds like a whole new texture combination. Like the inside itself, it's still nice and chewy, but now you have this kind of like outer crunchy shell. It's so like a super snack. Number six, Yuraku's Black Thunder Pretty Style Tiramisu. So one of my all time favorite chocolate snacks is a Thunder Bar. It's like a cookie and a chocolate all in one. But I think if I had any like American equivalent to it, it'd be like the Twix bar. So I usually get these, but then I actually later discovered that they have these bite-sized snacks. If you guys see right there, it's in Japanese and it says pretty style. <laughs> but brings us to now and my winter, winter wonderland treat surprise recommendation. Cause we're about to drop the bomb. Boom! Tiramisu Thunderbar! Can you feel the thunder? Woo! And if you read all three of these closely, if you read this original one, it says Black Thunder God. This one right here says Thunder Goddess. So it's like Thunder God, Thunder Goddess. And this one, Lady Light God. So they've gone like more pretty and refined as they go in terms of gods. Oh, you can smell the tiramisu. Look inside, it has several bite-sized morsels. It comes in this little chocolate bite. Mm. It has that thunder god taste, but comes in like a pretty little lady. Inside, there's not special, like, it's just regular chocolate. It has that, like, coffee, mascarpone, 
tiramisu flavor inside. And it's just nice because it has like chocolate melty shell and then it has kind of like a biscuit crunch on the inside. Number seven, Mika Kuto Kororo grape flavor. All right, so this next one for you is like one of Maiko's favorite snacks. Um, it's the Kororo grape. Oh, I haven't even opened it completely and you can already smell the grape. So look at these. It looks like a, a grape itself, but it's actually a gumi. In Japanese, they call it gumi. And when you take a bite, mm, what's very surprising is that you expect it to be gummy bear texture, but it's not at all. And it's fact, it's almost like a real grape in the sense that it gets kind of like this a squishy, moist, melting juice inside almost like a jello inside. These things come in like different flavors. They have like strawberry, the musket. They have like all sorts of like different flavors. Well, that's all I have to say about this one. This is basically like a bag of juice. You know why? Because there's 100% fruit inside. <laughs> it's a bag of juice. It's basically what's inside is grape. No, it says it tastes like real fruit. And exactly that's how it tastes. Number eight, Moko Tanmen Nakamoto cheese from 7-Eleven. So I'm starting to realize Maybe because it's winter, I picked a lot of spicy food this time around. For those of you who don't like spicy food, it doesn't really matter because we're doing spicy food today! So we got Mokotanmen Nakamoto Gente Chizu no Ichigeki from 7-Eleven. In fact, I've done this ramen before. If you look way, way back in the annals of Paolo from Tokyo videos, you'll find a spicy ramen video. And this one was the, the spiciest. It's actually one of my favorite go-to ramens. They only release this at a 7-Eleven because they have a partnership. But this one is a little bit different because they've added cheese to it to give you kind of that little more junky flavor to what is already a really, really spicy ramen. Look at that. No, oh, it smells spicy. Mmm, that's some good ramen. It's nice and spicy as expected. The soup itself has kind of like a slight creamy texture to it, but it's not like super, super cheesy. I think the cheese itself, it actually takes the away a little bit of the spiciness. So for if you couldn't have like the super, super spicy one, this is probably like a better bet, but it's still pretty spicy. Like I'm still starting to sweat a little bit. See, it has like two pieces of tofu right there. Signature ingredient for Nakamoto, like ramen. Now you should try this. It actually has a lot of cabbage and kikurage. Itadakimasu. It's a lot milder than the regular one. When I like breathe through it, I can smell the cheese. You breathe it through it? You breathe through it. Personally, I really like the original super spicy one. So the spiciness is not enough for me. But if you can take the spiciness, it's probably for you to start off. You're gonna hold it now, and you're gonna eat the original one. Number nine, Lotte Crunky Agepan. Let's get crunky. Are we cooking today or are we cooking? <sighs> Silence. You guys are a tough crowd. I don't hear <laughs> nothing today. This one is coming brand new. In fact, I just tried it yesterday. Thought it was quite interesting, so I'm gonna have to share it. This is the Crunky Crunk Chocolate Bar. Age Pan Edition. This is the Crunky Crunch chocolate bar itself. You can smell the cinnamon. Mm. So the secret here is if you look at the back, it says that you can actually toast it at 800 watts for two minutes and this thing will transform. All right, with today's modern technology, let me cook this up in front of you before your eyes. And there it is, look at that. Two minutes and good to go. You can see that it's been toasted to a crisp. It smells so delicious. It smells like Disneyland up in here. It's like a cinnamon bakery. If you look closely at it, it almost looks like a graham cracker. Crazy how like crumbly it gets, just like an agepan, which is a fried bread. Mmm. It in fact is really, really sweet so and really probably not so good for you, but it tastes 
exactly like fried crumbly cinnamon cake that's built out of sugar. I love how Japan just comes up with these random random like things. Ah, I knew it! Disneyland. I don't eat it. I know it's like sugary. Sweet. It's so sweet. Cinnamon sugar cookie that doesn't have any flour. Like <laughs> sugar cookie. And number 10, steam buns from Lawson. So we have three different wonderful Nikuman here, which are like steamed buns from the Konbini. And I wanted to show you all three of them, but the fact is I've tried them and only two of them are really worth talking about. And since this is my top choices, I need to let you guys know which ones I actually like. So, we're gonna pick two of them and then the other one is just gonna disappear. So this one is a Nama Caramel Man. Raw caramel, I guess, in English. Maybe this is the winner. Or is it the Sumibiyaki Gyu Kabi Man? Which is basically like a beef steam bun. Or can it be Miss Hello Kitty? Which is kind of like an apple cinnamon inside. So the first one that's gonna advance to the final round, I guess. The first delicious morsel. It's a charcoal beef bun. It's almost like minced kalbi in there or a minced beef. It even looks like it has some sesame inside. It has some onions. Mmm. Oh, you can really taste the smoked beef in there. It almost tastes like the beef itself is smoked as well as a charcoal bun. So like both of them taste like it's been smoked. You have like kind of like a, a Chinese ankake in here but the taste is actually if you ever go to the yakiniku restaurants and they have like the dipping sauces it's like you've put it into that dipping sauce and you're eating the yakiniku as is which is pretty freaking unique. Mm. So now we're down to two and the winner goes to oh the caramel bun. And you can see See that the caramel is just kind of like melted in there. Oh, you can smell that caramel in there. Look at that. Mmm. It's like a nice thick caramel gooey inside, all surrounded by a really, really chewy bun. You get a lot of play in your mouth. And you can see that there's almost like two different layers in there. You have kind of like a really light caramel and like a thick custard in there. Maybe it's two different types of caramel, but like all it does is like taste like caramel inside. So this one is actually just cute and maybe the kids might like this one. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's like an apple custard. Like it actually has like apple pieces inside. I really think this one is designed for kids. All right, there you go. Those are my winter snacks. I hope you like it. If you do, help me out and hit that like button. Again, if you want to support the channel, check out the Tokyo merch. If you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. Also check out the Discord community. And finally, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more Dylan Life videos or Japan guides, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.